Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my another video of the Uber Eats clone app. And in the last video we were building this restaurant service. We did the integration with Elasticsearch and we were able to set up the index and we were also synchronizing our restaurant data with Elasticsearch index. Now let's take a look on what all different APIs we have currently on the restaurant service. And we will build uh, new APIs if uh, there is something pending. So search we are going to go through like uh, how we can do the search against Elasticsearch. We have to use a multi-match criteria. Let's say you are adding, you are just entering a city, you are just entering the, the restaurant name, something from the description or you are entering some uh, menu item. Then how we can just search using Elasticsearch, okay? And then we have a create restaurant. Similarly, we need a couple of more APIs like fetch restaurant by ID, give me all my restaurant as a restaurant admin or any uh, end user who wants to see the menu item of the restaurant can access the restaurant uh, by ID APIs, a public API without doing login. And if I want to see my own restaurants, then I can be, I can be authorized user to access my own restaurant. So we already have an owner ID property in the restaurant with that we can get all my all your own restaurants which you have created with the dish menu items because we have the joints and in the type rm we can use relations to fetch the the whole data okay let's first look at the search so how we are doing a simple search is uh, i will write the the rest of the, our controllers and the methods so what we are passing in the search search is simple this api and here is our query dto so in the query DT we are passing let long search text okay here you can enter what you want to search and the page and the limit okay and i'm transforming because by default these query params are passed as a string you need to parse it to convert them as a number right now they will be treated as a number okay so page and limit and we will play with the search api so how search is working from the controller we are calling this search service and that is just uh, I mean search uh, restaurant service and restaurant service is calling the search module service inside a search, search module we have this search service and what it is doing it's a simple plain and simple search so we are getting the pagination like what is the page and what is the limit that we can pass in the elastic search search query this is the elastic search method here you can pass from skipped items so you can get the calculate the skipped items from the page and limit and then size is your limit so here we need to pass your index index is the name is the restaurant and the body body is important because this is defining your search criteria and to understand body you may need to understand a couple of things in the elastic search like how we write a query in the elastic search how we can match a particular keyword so if you see build search query what i'm doing is I'm doing a multi-match. So uh, how my query really looks like if I just talk about that query. So this is whole query object. Let's uh, read this in a different file. And this query is an array must query. Okay, query dot push. So here we are passing all these criteria. Search text is anything in the search text. Let's say you are passing city name or whatever. Okay, now what do you see here? This is your query boolean. I mean these queries one of the conditions should satisfy. Must and inside a multi-match we are what we are passing the query type field and operator, right? So query. Uh, I mean, whatever you are looking for a search keyword, type cross fields and in all these fields, I'm looking for this and this is the multi match. So even if I'm able to find a match in the name, in the description, uh, a single word inside a description, because name can be something like this. Okay. Let's say I'm entering a restaurant name is.
so with the help of this word delimiter if i'm entering the wedge then also i will get this restaurant if i'm just entering the restaurant then also i will get this restaurant if i enter kana then also i will get the restaurant so i'm using this word delimiter for the menu because menu can be a comma separated multiple menus and i should be able to apply the word del delimiter and for description so it will be a full text search but it's no, not really like this okay kana and you are in the search keyword you are entering k a n and then it will give you the result mm -hmm. it will just look for these tuples inside your whole string okay now let's play with this thing i mean this i put some efforts to build this query it's not simple you need to log look into elasticsearch documentation but you are getting this uh, from here so i'm just searching with the name with the description with the menu and city and address right any of this if this match founds we are just creating this build query and then we are passing it here in the body because you are sending a rest api to the elastic search okay give me the data for this query this is the index and these are the offset limit and i will get the data inside hits dot total dot value hits dot hits will give me the json records okay so i'm already playing with this api so i got this token i can just create some restaurants unauthorized maybe i need to extend the expiry also of this token so okay here i can create a restaurant so i will just say go in restaurant right it is saying unauthorized did i change something or maybe need, i need to do login the token has expired authorize close and i can create a restaurant right so it's like a vegan restaurant non-veg restaurant i mean just putting the random names falafel all these restaurants i'm creating right now if i try to fetch it because we don't have the api of restaurant right now so i can just do search simple search and i will just pass search keyword empty oh, i need to pass something it's required so let's say i'm passing veg so veg keyword it will try to find on all the places let's say i'm just putting the limit hundred thousand i mean whatever the records we can found so you can see it is looking for even the non veg also because what i'm passing here is the veg right so search text it will check in the name with the word delimiter so even non veg is there veg we have a lot of places and if i search for vegan and i should get only one record right only there is only one vegan restaurant and if i search for the city name goa because it will look for this in all the records I can see all the 15 records are coming right so this is how the elastic search is helping us to build a smart search platform right i can search with a lot of attributes even in the description if you are just passing some common attribute description let's say the north goa i think this description is common everywhere so i can just pass this value and i see almost 10 right wherever i see the north i'm getting all those records so this is a smart search you can see i'm doing a search with the or 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 query that means if any of these criteria gets match operator or if whatever your your search keyword founds in the name in the description in the menu items i will be able to search it and this is my mappings here i have added a menu also because menu is something which everybody will be, will be searching i will be searching for the dish name and i need all the restaurants have providing that dish right so what i'm going to do is this is my restaurant created let's say i create a brand new restaurant and i will be adding the dish menu items for this i will get the id we already have the apis for that created dish so we are passing the restaurant id 
thumbnails okay let's say full of description category restaurant with id not found it's a strange okay this is owner id this is the restaurant id i was passing the wrong uuid and we are throwing a correct exception so we got the menu items for this right now i will add some more all veg falafel some menu items i have added so this is my restaurant what i can do is i will try to fetch this restaurant with uh, let's say one particular dish one smart dish is uh, local vegan this is the dish name right i have added it but i need to transform my mappings so how i'm doing a synchronization is i'm just raising an event while creating the restaurant so this is my restaurant service what i'm doing is when you are creating a restaurant we are emitting this event index restaurant so i need to emit the same set of events when you are adding a dish to the system so this is the dish controller at least i'm doing it only for two hooks create dish and the create restaurant so we already have a dish restaurant id so here i can play with this this dot event emitter emit index dot dish dot restaurant right and here i need to index i just need to pass the restaurant because i know how to calculate the, the menu items and all and then we will include the event emitter here same as uh, we are doing in the restaurant service and then we will handle this event somewhere event emitter import the declarations and then here we are emitting the event on the create dish so this is our event name this is nest yes event emitter and here we are handling all the events i guess here let me check yeah so how we are handling is we will just put at the rate event at the rate on event okay And here is public async first of all i need to replace all these things contact number we need to get the real data i was actually dumping the mock data which is not correct restaurant dot okay restaurant is of type restaurant entity so that i can get the types restaurant entity and here restaurant dot dot contact number restaurant cuisines and couple of more options okay the address we should put some correct restaurant dot address there there is a nested object okay address we need to populate because uh, this is address address entity right so while creating the restaurant we are just passing that payload so how it is emitting the event we need to see here we are creating the restaurant so this is a created restaurant only right what we should do is we should just pass the payload for synchronization this payload is of type create restaurant body dto so we'll go to the search module search service and we'll just change this because addresses we are saving in another uh, another table so here it is i don't know if there is a column like this and restaurant dot id let me just revert something because restaurant entity and we can pass the address separately because there are two things if you see the restaurant service we are creating the restaurant so restaurant will have a restaurant properties not the address so here we are getting the address also so it depends on you how you are going to pass i can get the address also so this is the address index restaurant we will just pass both the properties let's say so this is restaurant created restaurant and address both the properties we are passing in the payload 
so index restaurant will is getting two things restaurant entity and the address entity right now we got all the properties restaurant entity is create address so return me this restaurant entity okay promise of any this should return restaurant address entity so it's good to have a proper typings in our system so this address is now of restaurant address entity so i will just change it to a restaurant simple this restaurant is created restaurant and this address is address entity so we are passing two things inside a payload to synchronize the data in the elastic search restaurant and address they are both coming in the payload so let's go to our search service and here we are synchronizing the things so it's like a data data which has two properties one is a restaurant of type restaurant entity another property is address of type restaurant address restaurant address entity right so there are two properties we are passing in the index restaurant and here i can get both of these things one is restaurant restaurant and address from this data this is the data of type this so we got the restaurant restaurant.id and address now i got the address object also so address dot do i not have this property that's strange address dot street i have address dot city address dot state maybe there is duplicate i will change it so we have address dot pin code it's not necessary to index each and every property but let's say for now we are populating all these properties address dot country so what we are doing is whenever you are creating it we are synchronizing all the data with these so closes it opens it these are the restaurant properties and pick up options this is delivery options okay uh what is wrong okay comma is missing so this is now a total synchronization we can pass the restaurant url do we have website url and then restaurant banner okay so all the data we are passing so this is a restaurant and address now let's say you are creating the dish right that then also you are doing a lot of stuff and then we have to re-index or update the the restaurant this is on the create right index restaurant with dish and here i just need to get the restaurant object so we are just passing the restaurant entity in the data this is promise of any and i'm just getting the data so data contains the restaurant object so here we can also access uh, because here these operations will be update we already have the restaurant indexed and here what we will do is elasticsearch dot update and this is the index this is the id and this is the payload here what properties we are looking for the id of the restaurant and the menu item because menu is something which we are updating so how we will get the menu here we need to inject all the entity services so inside restaurant service you can see we are injecting these repositories we need both the repositories at least one the restaurant this repository we will inject inside the restaurant service so i am injecting this domain module in the search module and search module is already part of domain module in that case you will get the cyclic dependency issue right because this domain module search module you are, you are adding inside a domain module and there are something some services you wanted to add from domain module to search module either you use a forward reference 
that will resolve your circular dependency or you get the data first and then pass the data while creating the restaurant so we can do one thing i can get the data first so we are emitting this event somewhere here yeah so we got the dish menu items and this is my created restaurant so my dish has been created first of all i can just get all the menu items and can send the menu items with the restaurant object so so this is restaurant and the menu item i can get from this service this dot restaurant dish service dish repo dot find so we need to find where the restaurant is this right so where close where restaurant is having this id id equal to we already have a restaurant so what it will give me it will give me all the menu items all the dish menu items which has been added to this restaurant with this id and we can just pass this menu items or i can just to loop on to this if menus and menus dot length i just need to put a weight here menu and menu items dot length is greater than zero that means we have already some menu items we can just pass it inside the string so const menu item menus dot uh, what i need is i just need only the menu property map i dot name that's enough for me i can just do a dot join with simple comma so I got some string right this is the menu items so I'm I will be passing two things here the restaurant and menu items menu items is of type string array string just a single string because we are getting all the names and we are joining them so when you are adding any new menu item we need to update the elastic search index with the newly added menu item with all the menu item it's all about synchronization right so we are passing restaurant and restaurant menu item Okay, from here we just need ID. Now we go to search service. Here, what we need to do? I'm getting two properties here again. So this is data. This data is of type uh, object, which contains two properties. Menu items. Menu item is of type string. And here uh, we don't need to worry about the payload. So payload is a restaurant dot ID. What happened? Can't find restaurant. Okay, I need to destructure it first from the data object. So I'm getting restaurant and menu items. Let's see what we are passing from this restaurant service. I'm passing create restaurant and this is a create dish. So I'm passing menu items. Let's keep make the i in the upper case menu items so we are passing both the properties restaurant of type restaurant entity and the menu items of type string okay this is my restaurant service here i got the menu items and here i'm doing a synchronization how this id is the, actually the index key which i'm passing id and this is the body inside the body you can contain you contains the new property menu which is of menu items okay so when you are adding a new menu items that will also get indexed you can add additional properties whatever you want to update that is just for demo so we are in uh, first we are creating the index on the restaurant create and then we are adding the menu items whatever you are updating and deleting right so when you update and delete get all the menu items again and just emit this event index this restaurant that is just for demo now these kind of events you can emit from anywhere what you will do be doing is you will be doing update operation instead of instead of index okay so you will be able to index the updated data now if you look at the restaurant controller what all different apis we see i see search is fine restaurant is fine we need couple of more apis restaurant by id and give me all my restaurant 
so i will go to the restaurant controller and quickly let's build some of the apis uh, which is so this is the create restaurant then i will just do is okay status code give me all my restaurants return all admin restaurant and this is protected so roles allowed admin we have all the authorization added fetch all my restaurants i mean obviously there will be only one in idle case and just define your method we are passing user user is still fine we don't need payload here fetch all my restaurant so here we'll define this method public async fetch all my restaurant what is the method restaurant controller and here i do have fetch my restaurant public async fetch my restaurant and here we are passing user is of type user metadata and here we are getting the user id id from user and we will just do simple find operation then okay i can just write this thing await this dot return await this dot restaurant repository dot find and what we need is what is complaining okay this is something user id not simple id dot find simply where close and where owner id is this user id okay and you can also fetch the relations relations i also want to fetch all the dish menu items so i think the relation name is menus i need to check uh, in my entity what is that restaurant entity and this is dishes so restaurant controller restaurant service here i will get all the dish menu items also added to that restaurant and then we can also do another api which is fetch by id fetch restaurant by id here we will be passing param and restaurant by id let's see do we have dto already created for this i think export class fetch restaurant by id dto and that will have a uuid so i will just copy this thing we'll change the properties so this should be of type is uuid class validator this is enough we just need only one validation and this is of type id this is uuid just put some sample uuid required true okay this is restaurant by dto this is the params we are going to pass that in the query param and my controller looks little different so this is simply get this is for restaurant admins right now this is a public api like search where i want to fetch a restaurant by id so from the search you will get all the restaurant right from the ui there will be landing page and then you will click on that that, that particular restaurant to see all the menu items so here this is simply get restaurant by id fetch restaurant by id okay what it will have is so it will have just a params so query params query param param and the, then we will just pass the dto which is uh, fetch restaurant by id dto inside this controller it's like lot of code okay what is this dto will import param is also not there let's import this thing now we'll just pass this uh, api which is this is not search this okay this is service dot we'll call method fetch by fetch restaurant by id and we just pass the param so fetch restaurant by id it will be it's not a user and the id is 
fetch restaurant by id dto just import this thing and here we are passing just id right and that's it so here we'll get the id from this params so this is id and we are passing the params as an id and we are importing so this is all set of apis like okay give me all my restaurant i'm a restaurant admin give me the restaurant by id and rest all is for restaurant admin you can create a put delete all these set of apis like there is a create right so here we can have put api for restaurant admin that will be protected status code is okay i will change the descriptions and all this is update restaurant update restaurant means you will just update the name description and all and there is a for dish menu items you can update delete the dish menu items that is also there so this is update restaurant right in the update restaurant what you will pass is this is the payload is of partial type so here it should be update restaurant do we have this type update restaurant body dto okay we need to create it so create restaurant dto we have I can create export class so update restaurant DTO extends there is something called partial type and you can pass okay I'm extending this create body DTO and this is update so I just need only partial attributes from this so I got another DTO from the create so it's easily you can create update DTO okay then update restaurant you are just passing user and payload so you will do the same thing like for the create restaurant and now you are doing update restaurant here you won't be dealing with the address and all but here I will just change it to update and then we will refactor this code update restaurant you are getting user and this is of type update restaurant body DTO okay these are like simple apis i'm just showing you in the demo you can you can quickly build them okay query runner you don't need query runner but it's existing code so let's keep it we are not updating address here so update restaurant is what you need to do is first you need to check the restaurant exists or not and you also need to validate the authorization are we doing it no okay so we have to do it so this update restaurant we also missing one thing which i forgot this is a put right so this is post this is update restaurant that should be i by id id we will be passing as a in the params not in the payload so here i will be just adding params this is how you will just build the rest api that's it so here i have a dto for the restaurant which is fetch restaurant by id dto i will use it in my restaurant controller for the param so now we have three attributes one is uh, and this is a put call not post i just keep correcting if anything is wrong this is restaurant admin we have auth cards enabled you are updating restaurant so you will be passing the restaurant also by id so here you will be passing params so we get user payload and param three attributes we are getting param is of type this update restaurant param is of type fetch restaurant by dto and here first of all i will be getting the id const id restaurant id right from the param and then i need to validate that are you the correct user accessing this uh, restaurant so we can do this async validate authorization because we are just checking the rules at the api level but we are not checking if this user is allowed to access this api or not right user is of type user metadata i think we are already doing this uh, validation somewhere we can copy that code i think in the restaurant dish service i wrote this code validate authorization restaurant service validate authorization means first of all are you the one who created this restaurant because now you are updating it so i need to make sure that you are the one who created it 
so for button exception we can import it then here we are checking that the user user id should be equal equal to the owner id otherwise you cannot access that restaurant if everything is fine return that restaurant object so here i will just say is we don't need query runner stuff here i will just remove these things okay i will just get the the restaurant from this validate authorization i will this dot validate authorization i will just need to pass user and the param okay if everything is fine we got we will get the restaurant and then we can just do is simply this dot await this dot restaurant repo dot update sorry you can just do a simply save what you need to do you need to pass the id restaurant dot id and here you need to pass the whole payload what you are getting in the body i think this is how you do it or it's just an object i always forget the syntax dot save it should be deep partial restaurant entity and uh, you can pass the whole object so this is validate authorization now this is your currently uh, the restaurant right so you can just pass this whole restaurant object and the payload what it is saying is because it has already the id and this is the payload will override the properties so this is simple type rm update so similarly we can just build any other apis which we needed i was, I was just showing you this is how we do the simple crud operation in type rm so there is nothing fancy it's like simple operations we were doing so we are done with most of everything about the restaurant service in the next video let's build another microservice and then we will also start looking at the ui because we we need to go parallelly i need to build the the ui also and do the integration at least for auth services and the restaurant service so we start fetching the restaurant from the backend apis